So let's have a quick look at what we can do in the collaboration section. Now imagine that we're going to run a lesson, we're going to do some group work. And in Forces in Motion, I've laid out a lesson here about measuring things. Students have to learn how to measure things accurately to be able to measure forces in motion and complete the equations. Uh, I've just laid out some of the equipment they're going to be using uh, to a note to say use colons to separate hours, minutes and seconds. Be careful with the thermometers and make sure you use the correct units. And we've used a page for each of the groups so that they can complete their group work. And over here in the group, group E, we've got the uh, exercise laid out for them. So the challenge is to grab a number of different objects within class and measure them, measure the length, width, circumference, volume, mass and temperature. So down in the group table, group A is going to be measuring the rope, orange, paperweight and perhaps even Garth Fort, <laughs> one of the students. So we'll see what they come up with. Now if we flick over to Jack's view of this in the browser, we'll just have a look there. Jack's going to be completing some of the group exercises within the browser. So he might be in a class where they don't have BYOD and he's got to use a device that's been given to him. It's a shared device. So as Jack goes through with his group, he'll measure the rope as being one meter, perhaps the circumference of the orange is oh, 20 centimeters. It's a large orange. Uh, the temperature of Garth, <laughs> oh, no, we'll, we'll leave that to volume of Garth, perhaps he's um, 65 kgs. Oops. The mass of Garth is 65 kgs. And being that Jack is filling that out now in, in OneNote Online, we can go back as the teacher at the end of the lesson, and we can see the results that have been synchronized. So as groups filling out these exercises, we can get them displayed on the screen and discuss some of the results that we came up with. And we can see that Jack has been the student who's filled that out. We can easily see what's going on there. Perhaps at the end of the exercise, if we want to keep those results without having students um, changing them, we might just save the page, copy that page, get back on over to our content library maybe create a section here called results and we'll just paste the section in there and indent that so it's easy to find later and being that it's the content library it means that students um, cannot change the content 